Hi, friends. Have you heard of Mother Goose? I thought we might read today from a very old book. Monroe and Francis published a book in 1833 called The Only True Mother Goose Melodies Without Addition or Abridgment. Whew. That is a very fancy way of saying we have all of the Mother Goose poems and nursery rhymes in this book. I'd like to read four Mother Goose rhymes about birds. Poem number one. The little robin grieves when the snow is on the ground, for the trees have no leaves and no berries can be found. The air is cold, the worms are hid, for robin here, what can be done? Let's strow around some crumbs of bread, and then he'll live till snow is gone. Poem number two. Mary had a pretty bird, feathers bright and yellow. Slender legs, upon my word, he was a pretty fellow. The sweetest notes he always sung, which much delighted Mary. And often where the cage was hung, she stood to hear Canary. Poem number three. There were two birds sat upon a stone, Falderall, Alderall, Letty. One flew away, and then there was one, Falderall, Alderall, Letty. The other flew after, and then there was none, Falderall, Alderall, Letty. So the poor stone was left all alone, Falderall, Alderall, Letty. One of these little birds back again flew, Falderall, Alderall, Letty. The other came after, and then there were two, Falderall, Alderall, Letty. Says one to the other, Pray, how do you do, Falderall, Alderall, Letty? Very well, thank you, and pray, how are you, Falderall, Alderall, Letty? Poem number four is much like poem number three. There were two blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come again, Jack, come again, Jill. That is four of the poems from the only true Mother Goose Melodies without addition or abridgment, published in 1833. Fly away, my friends. <laughs>